Now, uh, question number two, March, June 21 exams. And now it's time for the number two, that is, oh, sorry. Mars and company points you have identified from your review of the work carried out by local office of James and company. Moving out uh, below, here is the Mars and company requirement we already look at that in relation to uh, matters described in exhibit one and two, four, uh, one, two, four, comment on the quality of the planning and uh, performance of uh, the group audit and the audit of the components of the group discussing the quality control and other professional issues raised. In respect of, now we will look at the method, the mask in company, and it will give us five marks as we have looked at already. Now, exhibit two, wow. Here it is. Mars Dam is a located some distance from the rest of the group, and it is audited by a local office of James and Company. Okay. Your review I found that there was no formal reporting from the subsidiary audit team to the group audit team. Here is the issue. Uh, and communications were often not documented. Another issue. There was no evidence that the group audit team had obtained a copy of the subsequent events. Okay. Even uh, review performed on Mars and Company, and there was no evidence that group related parties had been communicated to the subsidiary audit team. So these are the issues, the uh, quality issues. Now, what we will do? Simply, let's move to our worksheet. Uh, worksheet, and here it is, key part. What's the company, a mass and company? The subsidy has been audited by local office of James and Company. However, the fact that James and Company is auditing the group and the subsidy does not mean that communications between the audit teams should be lacking in terms of their formality or level of documentation so isa 600 requires a documentation of range of matters including the nature, timing, and extent of the group or the team's involvement. Of the group or the team Involvement in the work performed by the component auditors on significant matters. To the group audit team. review of 
relevant parts of the component auditors audit documentation and conclusions and uh, written communication between the group audit team and the component auditors about the group audit teams requirements for all companies within the group regardless of materiality the group auditor should evaluate and review the work done by the component auditor the component auditor may be asked to prepare a report summarizing the work done and this could be in the form of an executive summary or a memorandum of audit issues arising from the audit of the company alternatively the group auditor may issue a questionnaire to be completed by the component auditor which would uh, highlight key issues arising from the audit of component in the absence of a uh, written documentation it is difficult to understand the matters on which the group audit team and component audit team communicated whether matters have been resolved and the impact which these matters might have on the group financial statements right now further what we'll say specifically in relation to the subsequent events review 
the group oddity should have requested the subsidiary or the team to provide the relevant information of perform a subsequent events uh, review themselves as a 600 requires the group audit team or the component auditors to perform procedures designed to identify events at those components which occur between the dates of the financial information information of the components and the date of the auditors report on the group financial statements and which may require which may require which may require adjustment or uh, disclosure in the group financial statements lastly if neither audit team has performed performed a subsequent events uh, view there may be matters which have not been identified not been identified which could be adjusting or non adjusting events which impact on the subsidiary and group financial statements so far so good uh, we are done with this part of the question as well that is how you have to draw the scenario by looking at line by line and discussing and applying the knowledge on to the application of scenarios i hope you got it in the next video we will do the next part bye bye